Hey guys, uh, this is going to be my little strategic uh, explanation video on my approach to the time trials of the Near Club, the Machine Lifeform Assault time trial rankings. Um, as you know, as you might know, I can't rank in this event, so I'm still shadow banned, whitelisted, whatever you want to call it for Matus. So I've just been playing around with it, optimizing, trying to have fun with it. Um, it's kept me interested. This is the kind of content that I love to do. It's just straight puzzles, and I'm really, really enjoying uh, min-maxing it. With that said, um, I originally made this video about eight hours ago. Uh, unfortunately, I'm remaking this about an hour ahead of global maintenance um, because we had a new top time in the world. Um, I <laughs> originally thought I had the world's best, with 44 and a half seconds or 44.6 seconds, which I haven't showed you yet. Uh, but, Mina Man, literally the person I look up to in learning mechanics of this game and um, just learning from overall and seeing his videos and really, really exciting player to watch. Um, he posted a time of 43.8 seconds, which, I mean, we'll get into the rankings in a second, but the highest actually ranked JP time is 45.8 but during like right before maintenance before it didn't it just didn't count he he chopped two seconds off his time and ran an ungodly ungodly um time so i had the top time about eight hours ago by th over three seconds I, th I believe it was um and unfortunately that didn't stand so but that's cool Mini man is def definitely one of the top players in the uh, in the game and to be even close to him um i'm very very honored so uh with that said why don't we get into the rankings um for global first we're gonna see a hacker number one boof so cool um luke on the other hand is not a hacker and he got a time of 111 um he's leading the pack of global players and he'll probably most likely if all things come to fruition he will get first place um this is obviously about an hour ahead of time, so I don't know if anyone's going to pass him, but you have Odium at probably second. I believe the rank 22 Elids is probably cheating, because I don't see a rank 22 being that high. But you got Luke, Odium, Elidam, Z after Z. J Jang seems a little sus, but who knows? Legend 83, probably legit. I don't know. At this point, who who, who could possibly know? Um, but what's cool about this is that uh, we'll go to JP's rankings. Media Man is the number one. That's That's the dude. That's the homie who absolutely crushed it. Um, 45.8 seconds, a really, really, really good time. Um, two is 47.5, then 49.6, 55, all that kind of stuff. So you can tell the, the, the really, really top times are very, probably had a certain strategy. Um, just one certain strategy that you're going to use. And I, I know for a fact that I use a similar thing to Meet a Man. Um, he's already posted on Twitter a bunch of his stuff, but my time i've already had my time for i don't know i did it early today i don't remember what time i actually made the video for it i think i did yesterday but um it was really cool to see like what he was doing it was pretty much almost the same thing as me except he actually had a better plan on one of the phases which i would have never have thought of and I'm not about to just go after JP's already maintenance and go make a new video. So no way, uh, no way in heck am I going to go screw off their time. Like that's just not in the honor system. Um, I am very, very proud of mine. And the fact that Media Man is the only one to beat me in the world. Um, <laughs> I can absolutely accept that. That man is a legend. So with that said, this is my time. 44.610. Um... I finished up to Lambda in 21 one seconds. I finished all of the Party 2 fight in 16.8, and I finished all of the Party 3 fight in 6.28. Um, the numbers you see in the middle are my splits for the overall cumulative time. I was keeping track of that to see, like, and comparing against what I had on previous runs and writing it down to make sure that I was actually improving and that I wasn't just, like, getting to the last battle, finishing, and then being, like, Oh, I didn't do better. Why not? It, just because I misremembered my times. So, I was kept. I had kept writing them down to make sure that I could improve and just seeing where I could improve. Right. So that was very important for me, uh, and I was excited to do so. Just, just to, uh, just to keep track of like if, you know, as as you try to make things happen, seeing if it's uh, relevant. 
Um, so let's get into the team. Um, as you know, it's three battle, three parties. Um, the first party being these homies. Um, what's important in the time trials is time stop. What's time stop? You're going to have some time stop magic, barely any. It's like soul spark and I don't even know what else. Um, you have arc skills, which are time stop, but you also have alts that are time stop. Um, some very powerful alts here. You got a really, really strong AOE alt in Lauzaeus, a, a, a good AOE alt in um, Zekis, a very strong single target alt in Alice, and then two time stops, so arguably the most powerful alts in the game in Gilukiel. So what I use here is a level 10 Great War Ruin um, to get me two alts on Lauzaeus and, and a free alt on everybody else at the start of battle. That's going to be very, very useful, as well as having three damaging arc skills. Now, the way that party one works is I'm going to kill a bunch with arc skills and alts, and then I'm going to finish off Lambda with Alice alt and Gilukyu alt. So, not too complicated there. It's just setting it up and having the right units and, the, and who to use with the alts and the, light the right damage caps to kill in one. Um, that's just very important. For the second squad, this one's a little Helter Skelter. <laughs> um, a little weird, but I promise you it works. Um, I'm going to use... The Lauzaeus UR arc skill and the Theo arc skill to kill some machines in the first one, as well as cast cancel some Roy S3s. Um, that's going to be my fastest time. But the most important part is Mother. Um, the second part of this party is going to be the second wave, which is against Mother and her ads. Um, the biggest MVP here is going to be the move the murder arc. Um, this part right here, the physical attacks have a low probability of immediately breaking bosses. 0.1% chance on every physical hit to break a boss instantly. Um, what does that do for you? If you send out an S3 with Roy at Mother, and you can try to break in the first one, two, three S3, if it doesn't break, you just reset it. Um, you close your app, you bring it back up. Um, I'm assuming all the JP did this. No way in hell did anyone do this in one run perfectly as their top time. So everyone definitely took their top times, reset. If they, if they got a crappy time, reset that wave and try to do it a little better. Now, RNG is very, very important in this battle. Um, Machine spawn placements, um, again, mother breaking is very important. Even the last phase is very important. So Mulu Murder and Roy, the MVP. Um, I know this for a fact that I use this. This is the same thing, relatively the same thing that Meta Man used. Um, but let's get into phase three. Um, <clears throat> what I do here. Um, unfortunately, I'm pretty much all out of time stop. Um, the only time stop I use here is AOG Lily and a couple soul sparks. That's all I could muster because everything else was pretty much dead to the world. Um, <laughs> no time stop. So I went with the strongest DPS I could possibly muster after using the units I had before, um, which included warping in a 2B and A2 into Simone to do as much damage as they could with their S3s and let them go go to town on Simone, but also cast canceling Ed's S3. Um, the MVP of this battle actually, because they're all considered DPS, is this arc. Um, the flinch resistance for the first 10 seconds, this allows me to just wail on Simone without getting hit or flinched by any of her attacks, which she does throw out a lot. So, very important for time, especially since I'm going to be killing in under 10 seconds. Uh, my, my best record is a 6.28 seconds, so um, definitely very, very useful. Um, and she hits for quite a bit of damage, so you're going to need to just straight up gun through it. Um, but having enough DPS to burst her down is very important for the last one. That's pretty much, that's pretty much what we're rolling with. Um, now I will say that this might not go that well, uh, in which case I might reset, but hopefully I don't have to. Um, we'll try to make it one way through, but I have no promises. So I'll try to explain further as we go along. Well, so why don't we just jump in? <clears throat> First thing is first, Kuga Suji Arc Skill. Getting killed the first wave. Um, very, very quick. Uh, the next iteration of machines, we're going to switch over to Luke. Um, create War Ruin to get everyone special up. And then we're going to start switching target to try to. So these guys are available. So, one key thing about these machines um, if you use our Skills right when you're doing, right when they come up, uh, they might not damage. So unfortunately, you need to make sure you can see their HP bar. So I don't know if you can see that. Um, I can see two of their HP bars on the right, these one and two, but I cannot see this guy's. 
when it pops up for him. So what I need to do is go out of the screen and then switch target again and see if it pops up. So yes, one, two, and now I can see the third one. We see it disappear, but you can see it. Um, that means we can damage him. If they don't have an HP bar, they can't be damaged. So we're going to use the Eldramana and then into a Solaris. The next iteration is going to be killed by Zekus Alt, which Alice, damn girl, relax. <laughs> Um, so I cannot see, wait, I can see both. I don't really trust it, so I'm just gonna do that real quick. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta, and this isn't for like, um, the top time, so we're just gonna make sure that they kill. Next wave, or next iteration is gonna be four machines and then five machines. So I don't see any HP bars over there, so we're gonna need to, one, two, three, four, four. Perfect. Nope, next one is five. Next one is five, so let's switch target until we find someone. They, I definitely can't see theirs, but now I can. Beautiful. Now well, what's gonna happen here is I'm gonna switch over to Shift Alice and we're gonna get a honey lift on a dude to get ready for that all next wave. Um, Cause what I'm gonna do is straight up Shift Alice, gun her down with a, an alt and then G Luke's gonna kill him one alt. 12.57 is actually not that bad. We were at 12.35 on my best run. So, yes, yes, of course, slower, but not terrible. Now, I need to make sure I do the skill skill order right here because um, this is a little bit min max and is very, very close to failing. <laughs> I believe I got it right. Once I get those three off. I think I may have missed it, and that's props from the railgun. Like I, I had the railgun already. Um, Twenty-two, whatever, it's fine. I have the railgun as one of my uh, weapons on G Luke, and that adds a ten percent. That's like a chance for an extra damage. So it might just just might not have been a good RNG run, which is fine. Twenty-two point two two is not bad. I was at twenty-one point four seven, so I definitely lost some time on Lambda. What's going to happen here is my second team, uh, we're going to use a Lausius UR to kill these. Now, uh, just like the first wave, it's a weird that they kill so easily because it's like 40 res, but these are just like super weak. Um, just like the Kagetsu Sharks, they're just super, super weak. So, they can easily be damaged. Um, what I'm going to do is run Roy to the middle. Why? Um, surprisingly, very important. Um, and by the middle, I mean top middle, because the, what you're aiming for is going to be the TR Risings. So what I want to do in this second wave is target him, because he's the most health, and spam three S3s into him. Why? Because that's just going to nuke as hard as we possibly can. And I don't really have another time stop to mess around with. So uh, why don't I just do that? One, two, three. They're all dead. And we're going to wait for another TR Rising. This is going to be four enemies. So that's good. All of them here, here. I'm probably going to aim at this one, and once I see damage from an S3, I'm going to use a Theopolis Arc skill, because that's going to finish them off, and then the persistent damage from the S3 is going to kill the rest of them. Um, didn't see it yet. There we go. Perfect. Theopolis Arc skill. And they should, the rest of them should have. Awesome. So now we're getting into the heavy, heavy RNG. 33.3, uh, we were at 31.42 on our normal time, which is you know, due to um, the spawning of the TR Risings, if they're much, much closer, you can just simply, it, it's a lot faster of a projectile to hit, so it's, it's gonna, you know, cycle them through faster for the, for the next, um, spawn of them. Um, Mother, this is the biggest RNG part of it. it it's not that bad to reset, because it's kind of mindless, you can just, if you send out two or three, one, two or three S3s and it doesn't break, you just kind of close up the app and reset it. Um. Which isn't that big of a deal, but the bigger issue is actually getting that to work. Um, so this is probably not going to work, and unfortunately, it's just going to be horrible. So, um, I'm going to try to break her, but it's probably just not going to happen. What normally happens is you kill the adds, and then she breaks, and then you can damage. So if I don't break in the first couple of S3s, I'll just go stand next to her and just wait till everything, well, wait till she breaks and then kill her. Um... With, with that said, I'm just going to put this on. Um, this is why I bring this, to give me a little HP barrier, just a little insurance, in case one of them blows up in my face. Um, 
because the, the, the robots do explode. One, two, three. So they did not explode, in which case we can send one more out. Um, I will be getting hit here, unfortunately. <laughs> so it's fine. Uh, I'll just, like, and we're getting the galaxy, so that's cool. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Whatever. <laughs> We're rolling with the bunches. Um, that obviously did not go as well as planned, but no worries. So the last wave is going to be Simo. Um, what we're going to do here is we're going to DPS down her as hard as possible. I'm going to send Ed in with an S3. I'm going to do a Soul Spark, and then we're going to send the other other homies into um, to be an A2 in with an S3 each, and have them damage as much as possible. I'm going to go back to Ed, and I'm just going to skills or cast cancel his S3 as, as much as I possibly can. So she's got an S3. This is probably not the greatest, greatest skill charge, but whatever. It's okay damage from there. So 55 something. It's fine. This is not really mid-maxed. Um, considering Global's best is around 111. Um, not, not the worst. So where that time comes from, 11 seconds off of this, is going to be uh, part one. Wave one with all the machines. Better timing of the um, not only alts but better time of their spawns. Um, I've had the first or the second wave of machines spawn as low as 2.15, which I ended up botching that run. But they this run was about three seconds, so I lost some there. Um, not waiting as long to do the alts doesn't help, as well as. Um, Lambda, be killing Lambda in one with a little bit of RNG with the railgun. Um, and then in part two, the placement of the machines. Uh, where they spawn at, having TR rising right next to Roy is going to be much, much more beneficial than having far away because of the projectile range and time it takes. Um, using the arc skills a little bit more efficiently. And then Mother, um, which apparently you have to just straight up reset every, every so often. Um, or like pretty much every time, because at 28 hits on a 0.1% chance is about 2-3% to to actually proc on an S3. Now while that's not terrible, it's just going to take a lot of resets to get it if you're on your first, second, or third S3. So that's a lot of RNG. Not only that is, I don't think I got it, I don't think I had a great time on my last part. Yeah, 7.7, .7, so 6.282. Um, I definitely screwed up some cast canceling there, and the skill stocks and the AI was kind of stupid for 2B and A2. Um, I do a phone booth and quick trigger and all that kind of stuff, and you know if they get better skill stocks like on their S3s, um, I think that's where my 6.282 came from. So, all in all, fun times. Um, I mean, this is pretty well optimized for what I can do. Uh, there's a lot of time saved, in which way case I probably would have reset, but as a single run, 55 is not bad, and it's already 16 seconds better than anyone in global. So, um, I'm really proud of this. I'm really proud to just be right up there with Media Man because I'm always enamored with his content. Um, if any of you have never checked him out, you absolutely should. Um, so, like, it's it's it is kind of crazy to see. Um, the things that the JP players can do. Um, I hope um, we all get better by watching them. Um, I hope you guys learn some stuff from this as well. I know it's not the perfect or the fastest run I could possibly muster. Um, I wish I had that recording, but dude, sifting through <laughs> like <laughs> tens or a hundred resets just to get like a really, really good spawn, which I don't think it took that long when I did it, but you know, 20 resets to, to get like the, a really good movement murder proc and resetting all the other ones to get good spawns like <laughs> no one wants to watch that so 
appreciate you I appreciate you guys all coming out um, if you want more content like this or if you want me to continue posting content like kind of like this stuff um, I gladly will I had a lot of fun with this I had a lot of fun with the event itself the time trials are always a good time like I said before it's it's like my little sandbox I love playing around with toys and seeing what works the best so um, Anyways, this will be premiering, I hope, by 3 o'clock a.m. EST, by maintenance. But, like, Media Man had to go and drop a 43-second timer on me. I had to remake my video. I wasn't going to just sit there with a 44, with a 44.6-second video and saying, world's best. Like, <laughs> he trashed on me. So, very cool to see. Um, I will be watching this, hopefully, premiering soon. Um, I'm going to have it private, but hopefully it's up. All right, boys, um, enjoy the video, and uh, <clears throat> make, sure, make sure you come to Discord and say hi and come hang out, man.